Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given find an analytic function f of z in which the real part is given. And we should also find the conjugate harmonic function. Let us take the real part u which is e power x into x cos y minus y sin y. Now we are going to find ux which is the partial derivative with respect to x. So we are going to follow the product rule. This is one term. This is another term. Let us differentiate the first term. e power x derivative is e power x and the next term is kept as it is. Again plus first term is written as it is and derivative of the second term here x derivative is 1 and cos y is a constant so constant will stay as it is and this is fully constant so it is 0. Now we are going to find u x of z comma 0 it means wherever x is there we have to replace it with z and the place of y we have to substitute 0. So this is z into cos 0 minus 0 into sin 0 is 0 totally and again this is e power z into cos 0, cos 0 is 1. So here this is e power z into z and plus e power z. So this is what we get. If we want we can take e power z common. So we left with e power z into z plus 1. Now in the same way we are going to find u y. Again using the product rule e power x is a constant. So its derivative is 0. And the second term is written as it is. Now plus first term is written as it is and second term partial derivative with respect to y. So x is a constant and cos y is minus sin y. And these terms again we have to make a product rule within the bracket. That is open a bracket. y derivative is 1 and sin y derivative is cos y plus sin y is written as it is or let us take y sorry let us redo it y derivative is 1 and sin y is written as it is plus y is written as it is sin y derivative is cos y. Now totally we have to find u y of z comma 0 anyway the first term is 0 coming to this e power z into z into minus sin 0 in way the whole term is 0 here and uh, there is a common bracket. So this we have to keep a separate bracket then minus open bracket sin 0 plus this is again 0 into cos 0. So wherever y is there we substitute it with 0. So finally, every term is 0. So e power z into 0 is going to be 0. Now we are going to find f of z which is u plus iv and f dash of z becomes ux plus ivx. From CR equations, we have ux equal to vy and u y equal to minus v x. So this v x can be replaced as minus u y from this. So finally we get f dash of z as u x minus i u y. So v x is replaced as u y. Now we are going to write f of z using milne thompson method which is integral u x of z comma 0 dz minus i integral u y of z comma 0 dz u x we have it here e power z into z plus 1 so here it is integral e power z into z plus 1 dz and the second term is fully 0 and at the end we have a constant. Now we are going to integrate this using the 
integration by parts this is exponential this is algebraic so we have a integration by parts the method is called ilet method the two functions we have it here is exponential and algebraic so the first function is taken as u which is algebraic z plus 1 and the second function is taken as dv which is e power z from this we have to find du and its derivative is 1 dz and from this we have to find v by integration which is e power z and dz will be taken here now the formula is uv minus integral v du z plus 1 into e power z minus integral e power z dz and this is our f of z and the last part integration we have to complete that is f of z is equal to z plus 1 into e power z minus e power z plus c and we can take e power z common that gives z plus 1 minus 1 and we can cancel this so finally we arrived f of z as e power z into z so we shall write that here z e power z plus c so we got the f of z but in the question they have also asked for conjugate harmonic function that is v we have to find so now we are going to take f of z as u plus i v and here z as x plus i y and e power x plus i y and plus c now this x plus i y we keep as it is e power x separately into e power i y so the indices root we have used and now applying formula for e power i y that will become we know the formula e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta so this becomes bracket open cos y plus i sin y now we keep e power x separately open bracket we are going to multiply this with this entire term so x cos y then plus i x sin y plus i y cos y i square is minus 1 so minus y sin y plus c this is our u plus i v now grouping the real part that is e power x we keep as it is the terms without i is the first and the last that is x cos y minus y sin y plus i into the remaining terms are x sin y plus y cos y bracket close full bracket close and we have plus c now totally this is e power x is multiplied inside so e power x into x cos y minus y sin y plus i into e power x we have to multiply again inside into x sin y plus y cos y and plus c this is our u plus i v by comparing the i terms we get v equal to e power x into x sin y plus y cos y so as per the question first we got f of z which is an analytic function and we got the conjugate harmonic function which is the imaginary part that is v